Apple released macOS Tahoe at their WWDC events on macOS 26. As you can see, this is the software update page. It looks the same but different. Yeah, the back and forward buttons are now there and they reflect the new glassy design. Same with the minimize, maximize and close buttons. Yep, you can see how everything just reflects the design. And I've switched to light mode and you can also see light mode is very vibrant with the liquid glass design language and you can see we have live activities now on the menu bar yeah that came from the iphone so if you have an iphone connected to your macbook that would reflect on your mac's menu bar for the desktop and dock there is nothing to talk about for now but we have something called the new on-screen keyboard yeah and that's somewhere in the menu bar top tier show keyboard viewer so now we have an on-screen keyboard for the macbooks and it's probably going to be very useful if your keyboard ever has a problem yeah and it even has the function row functions you can also see the new control center that reflects the glassy liquid glass design for apple's design language the toggles are very vibrant and alive which is nice to see I think macOS 26 implemented liquid glass the best. macOS consumed 24 gigs and 11.6 went on Apple Intelligence. That's quite a lot. So you can see no more launchpad. We have apps now, no launchpad. And apps just brings up a pop-up that shows you either a list or icon view which you can use to navigate your apps and that's technically what you just have. I definitely hate what they just did, I like my launchpad. For appearances, we have dark mode and let's try out the new clear look. Yeah, those dark icons look very transparent right now. We also have a tinted mode where you can set different colors but I don't really care about that. And look at that default macOS Tahoe wallpaper. Yeah, it looks very vibrant and 3D-ish and it also reflects the liquid glass aesthetic. You can also see how the scrolled wallpapers like blur behind that glass panel with the side items. Very nice. And we have a new app called the Magnifier. Definitely boring but it uses continuity camera which is pretty cool. Let's check out Image Playground. You have the option to use ChatGPT. I don't know if this was always there but I am seeing it right now. Also boring, I've never used this one in my life, yeah, when we have ChatGPT image generation, why would I ever use that? We have a new games app, in my opinion, it's just an extension of the arcade, yeah, because most of the games I'm seeing here are just like regular games plus arcade games, all jumbled into one. For the user interface, it also reflects that liquid glass design and it shows the games you are currently playing and your progress in smashing those milestones. Let's check out the App Store as well. App Store is just the same old App Store you know just with the liquid glass aesthetic in it. Check out the new pop-up when you connect a new wireless device. Looks very nice. And also in Safari we have a new design for that top URL bar. You can see the blurry liquid glass transition when the window moves behind it and look at apple's website the top bar looks very nice and aesthetic yeah of course this is the first beta so we we'll definitely see many refinements so like all the liquid glass elements as time goes on and you guys should be sure to like report your suggestions or books to the feedback app rather than making noise about it on apps like thread and x trust me you're doing yourself a bigger favor by going straight to the feedback app with them anyways that's technically all there is and for performance performance is quite the same on my macbook pro 14 inches just that the battery drain was notably more than usual yeah a lot more than usual anyways i'll update you guys with more features and bugs and whatever as time goes on